Shalom. I will praise the Yahweh Shem Yahshua and Bashem Rakakadash. Double and I see Apostle Elder was a great millstone and rule well. And Shalom to all the brothers uh, doing the work in and in truth. Um, yeah, just I had this phrase that I found that you know I discovered, and I was just thinking it's funny just to kind of look at the way that um, you know the world used to be. And, you know, what Esau has done to it in the present time, man, because the thing is, is like now Esau's tried to normalize it to, you know, where, you know, seeing faggots everywhere, everyone being a faggot, everyone being, um, you know, um, uh, a tranny, you know, women popping off at the mouth, you know, oppressing the men. Like, that's just the, like, that's like, we're just meant to accept that. Like, that's just, that's just the way it is. But you know the reality is is that um it's it's a new thing you know it's a new thing this is this is a new thing which Esau's brought in which really is is actually got like that's that's pretty much it's some BS you know Esau's brought it in but really it's it's some nonsense it's it's some noise it's it's some smoke cuz well, you know, let me get into the phrase because the phrase is um, "close your eyes and think of England." I can't even remember how we even, um, you know, how how we even stumbled upon it. But it says, "Okay, so what's the meaning of the phrase close your eyes and think of England?" A reference to unwanted sexual intercourse, specifically advice to an unwilling wife when sexually approached by a husband. <laughs> so. You know, now now they'll be having the Me Too movement. Now you'll be charged with rape. But um, it says, this is recorded in a 1912 journal of Lady Hillingdon. So in 1912, there weren't no rape. That was just what it was. Close your eyes and think of England. <laughs> it says, uh, when I hear his... This, so this is what she wrote in her journal in 1912. It says, when I hear his steps outside my door, I lie down on my bed open my legs and think of England <laughs> so, so she's she ain't even feeling him like that and then she just like look man she has the steps she just gets on the bed lies back spreads them legs and thinks of England <laughs> so you know that's that's completely different spirit than what you've got now because you know these women now they're they're not even thinking about okay you know I need to do this. I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna let him do what he wants. They're using it. They're the fucking sexual deviants, man. They're gonna when they decide. They, you know, they're gonna be like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gift some pussy to some, to some nigga. That's that's um. That's what they, that's what they're down with. But you know the law, the the the, the law. But back in the day in England, this is in England alone, man. This is you know you go back just over a hundred. Uh, just over a hundred years, you had ladies having to lie down, spread their legs, and think of England, and that just shows like how completely Esau, in a short time, has has, has done like some some legendary change. He's done some fu he's done some fucked up shit on the people here, man. And it says what? It says this is widely repeated in various reference texts, but without access to the source document. It has to be counted as speculative. If it is indeed accurate, then we can also speculate that the good lady's forbearance wasn't frequently tested. She was married to Charles William Mills, the second Baron Hillingdon, who had retired from active business life five years prior to this journal entry owing to ill health. Her idea of an unpleasant experience being moderated by dreams of the green and pleasant land may have been inspired by the poet by the poem In a Strange Land, which was published anonymously, but were presumably by, by a homesick expatriate in New Zealand. The Evening Post in February 1905, O to lie awake at night and think of England, out of reach and far away, O to see her in the distance as a picture and let your fancy play. Lie bank and think of England, or as it is more often expressed these days, close your eyes and think of England, was used in two contexts. Firstly, it was, um, it was or later, dramas have portrayed that it was advice given by a mother to her daughter on her wedding night, 
<laughs> so <laughs> that's you know back in the day you would you know you the, the, a mother a mother might have told a a daughter look man just if you look, just lie back and think of in England <laughs> that's that's a completely different spirit but it says what um sex education wasn't all that it might have been in the early 20th century the other context is advice given by a woman friend to a loveless wife. Marriage was a route to economic security for women, Edwardian England, and many must have seen the grant of sexual favours as an unwelcome price to pay for it. The expression is sometimes attributed to Queen Victoria. The phrase certainly has the moral tone of Mary Victoria maxims that emphasise effort and forbearance, for example, play up and play up, play up, and play the game. If you can fill the unforgiven minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, you'll be a man, my son. There's no evidence that Queen Victoria ever uttered the phrase, and circumstantial evidence points entirely the other way, as she loved her husband deeply, was an enthusiastic sexual partner, and the couple had nine children. What swooping ladies from other countries think about during unwanted sex isn't re recorded. So, you know, just, 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 you know, lie back and think, lie back, spread your legs, and think of England. That that is basically a spirit of 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 behaviour that's that you don't even see in the world today, man. Because that's basically a woman willing to do something for a husband. You know. Now you get you know you try if you're broad ain't in the mood, she, she can just go, Oh, you know, I'm you know, I'm 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 not in the mood. Or just, you know, like, yeah. Nah, I'm 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 sick. I don't I don't feel too well. Or some bullshit. <laughs> but, you know, these times, they were actually on, uh, you know, just lie back and think of England. Which really, that shows um completely different spirit, man. Because now we're, 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 the women ain't, not a single bit of, of lying back and thinking of England is being done, man. These women are, 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 have been given, you know, the power, the dominance. So, they're basically enjoying, and they're enjoying and thriving under that, that power, man, because it's granted by wickedness, man. You know, a woman out here basically, um, you know, going for, um, what's the word? Ooh. Esau's giving them unrighteous, uh, you know, unrighteous, um, the, the freedom to basically move in, in, in complete wickedness. And they're thriving under that, man. Because back in, back in 1912, ain't no one, you know, you were, that, that just wasn't even a thing. That's why it was just lie back and think of England. Because, you know, if he, if he wants to, he can just go take the pussy. And, hey, that shows how wet this, this, this era is, man. You try and talk about some lie back and think of England. Your ass is going to be, you're going to be getting in the Me Too movement. They're going to be talking, oh, he's an animal, he's a beast. Raping women. <laughs> that's, all you, that's all you're going to be seeing. Because it's, it's, you know, hot mess, man. But then that's also, it's also how the Lord allowed it to be, man. Because basically, it was a punishment. Part of it is a punishment, man. Because we're the Lord's women. And we're, you know, we went a-whoring. So it's like, now we get to experience exactly what that feels like, because our women are out are whoring, you know. Getting a woman's not, not actually that, you know, it's not some deep mystical thing. You know, that's, it's, it's, it's you know, you just, you just grab, you grab her up, or you just go, you whatever, and that's, you, you just find, you find the lass, and then that's your wife. It's as simple as that, you know, there's no 30, 20 dates, there's no, you know, legendary jumping through the hoops. The most you might have to do is just, uh, you know, pay pay the uh, pay the papa a dowry. You know, that's the most. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let me read this, man. Jeremiah thirty-one and twenty-two. How long wilt thou go about, or thou backsliding door? For Yahweh have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. So that's that's what's happened. And looking back at this, lie back and think of England. You can see it's evident. 
because that is completely in, in England. I can, I can confirm to you, ain't no women out here lying back and thinking about England for shit. They they're basically. I mean, there's if if they don't want it, then then you just got to eat. If we got like the guys that are going around raping women, them guys are getting hemmed up in jail, man. And you know they might get out like that cabbie rapist. You know he got out. But basically, it's like your your ass are getting thrown in jail. You're getting Esau's oppressing you. So it's like now Esau's got the protection on the women. Like oh no, you can't even talk. You know if if you're in public and you start backing your woman up, you might have some guy just going no look mate, no nah, look that's enough of that. Yeah, don't even no, nah, don't even talk to the lady like that. Don't no no mate, sorry, that is not that's unacceptable. You know, she's a human being. Some BS, man. All this, all the, it's, it's completely flipped the power dynamic, man. The power dynamic has been completely turned on its head to where now, you know, the men, <laughs> it's, it's like uh, the women have complete sway and say over who gets what. And that's, uh, you know, that shows that, that, that really we're, we're, you know, we're on a low level out here, man. We we really are cursed, you know. We've got hella curses upon us, man. If you if you can't even have your woman, and just you know you want some box, you go get some box. But then you know you're having to you having to think about okay, you know, is it like you know the police or you know you can you gonna have to butter her up or something? That's hell on earth. What the hell is that? In in the scriptures it says you can entice a maid, but it's not it's not required. It's basically, you know, that's one of one of many ways in which, you know, the, the thing can get, can get sorted. Most likely, it would have been, you know, marriage would have been organized by, you know, the father, trying to trying to get some advan- advantage from that. Most most likely. But um, you know, that just shows, hey, we're 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 done, man. We're on the we're on the bottom rung of the ladder, man. You know, if when the black woman's over the black man, that's that's just like uh, that's hell on that's hell on earth. You know, the woman can is, is basically saying these things, man. But yeah, it's just you know, it's a, it's a funny little phrase. It just shows you know, different times, man. Different times. A lot of people forget. You know, a lot of people think this modern bullshit was going on forever, but you go back and this is you know about a hundred years ago. Lie back and think of England. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll leave it there, man. I'll leave it there. Say so, yeah, shalom. All praise to Allah. Shem Yashav Hashem Kadosh. Don't want to see a pastor, elder, the great Muslim, man. Shalom. Shalom.